Hi guys and welcome back. Today we're gonna take a look at the Archon WM66 video light. We're gonna do a little bit of an unboxing. We're gonna take a look what comes included, battery, charger, what things I do recommend you about this light. And also, of course, we're gonna jump underwater to take a look at, a look at some underwater footage to see how the light performs in the actual diving environment, followed by, the, by a little bit of a pros and cons. So let's get the video started. Okay guys, so in my hand at the moment, I am holding 12,000 lumens of output. In my hands right now, I'm holding twice as much. So I'm holding 24,000 lumens of output. The lights I'm holding here are the biggest lights or the strongest lights Archon produces without them being a canister light. So in this type of arrangement, these are the strongest one Archon produces. We have a wonderful COB, so a chip on board LED from Cree in the front. It's a Cree CXA3590. This is by the way the biggest LED Cree produces and it can offer up to 18 or produce up to 18,000 lumens and this is a lot for the size of the LED. We have an LED with around 30 millimeters in diameter. I personally like a lot the finish you can see in the front. The LED looks very beautiful, very big, a nice aluminum finish around, a little bit of a, we could say, a bit of a reflector to make sure the light gets projected outwards and doesn't lose itself in here, so the metal finish always gives, gives it a nicer look than the normal white plastic POM ones. We have a nice finish with the typical Archon O-ring, just for them to be a lot more or easier recognizable as an Archon, this is typical for them, and even protects the light a little bit when laying it down or something, it protects the light a little bit. We have a nice, some nice, you could say, fans for the cooling, fins for the cooling of the LED, and I have to tell you, this LED gets quite hot, even underwater, if you're using it on full power, you can feel the light is getting warm, because it's a lot of power going into it. In the back we have a nice battery case, which we're gonna screw off, and all the way in the back we have a nice hole to mount, for example, a lanyard. I don't think most of us are going to use a lanyard on the slide, we're using it probably on some system, because the light is way too big to just use as a normal hand light, but still the option is there to also maybe make sure you don't lose it if you're using it on the actual tray. And on the top we have a nice switch, which is a very nice finished switch, and with a nice power indicator around it. What comes included in the actual package? We don't only have the light itself, we have of course a little bit of a user manual and some spare o-rings. These ones are quite easy to recognize because they're very big, yeah, extremely big actually, and a little bit of a user manual or operating instructions. We have some informations here, the ones I actually like to see here or show you. We have a COB LED with around 5000 to 5500 Kelvin of color temperature. I personally actually think that these have a higher or you could say a warmer, so a lower Kelvin, around 3,500 3, to 4,000. This is what I would think about it, but this I think depends on the batch which they were using. We have a brightness of 12,000 lumens and we have a runtime of around 55 minutes on high. This I can say it is true, I had the lights fully charged and I used them on an around 60 minute dives or a dive always on full power and it lasted almost the whole dive. So 50 to 55 minutes is a realistic time or run time. And then we have a nice power indicator and here you can see when the power is above 30% the indicator is green, between 30 and 10% it gets red and under 10% it starts to flash in red and once it gets under 5% the indicator, or sorry the light actually will shut down and this is good to not over discharge your batteries. Included also we have a lanyard, I don't think most of you are going to use it, but well it's included, maybe you can use it for some smaller light, I don't really need it on this big guys. We have a charger included which comes also with the normal charging, this is the standard one, so if it doesn't come in the right one for your counter you can use other ones from other appliances or other devices to use it on the charger, it's the standard one. Important here to see or to understand is that the charger is unlike others with a very low voltage. Here we have a six serial pack, so 18, six 18650s in serial. So we have a fully charged voltage of 24.2 
or in other words a nominal voltage of 22.2 volts. This is very high and it's as I said a 6S pack so this is quite high. The reason why is very simple, the LED needs a lot of voltage. There are two versions of the CXA 3590s, one runs on I think 30, 40 volts, something around this and one runs up to 90 volts so they need this and still are boosting some voltage. Here we have a charger with 2 amps of output, so the way it is with around 3500 milliamp hours of capacity, it should be full in under 2 hours. This is quite good for this kind of charger. Now in the light itself, if we screw it open, I already have the battery pack inside, so let's take a look at that. It doesn't go too far and the whole thing is open. And here we can see something I really enjoy about the light. On the head side we have a wonderful finish with some spring loaded contacts, they look very good, it looks very clean, you can see some nice POM finish to make sure there is no short circuiting, so it just looks clean with a nice finish. The numbers, I wrote them of course, just to, you could say, distinguish the two one from another because they're, otherwise they're completely similar. On this side we have two O-rings, again the thread is very well made, we have a nice distance in between the O-rings and the thread, so there is no problems at all, very nicely made, produced, and you can see two O-rings are more than enough. Nice battery shell, very big, very easy to put down, this is something I like even to charge the battery, you can leave it inside, and as the distance is so big from the lanyard hole to the outside, you can just put it down without having to lay it on the O-rings. Like this it will always stand, you can plug it in to charge. By the way, the charger comes with a normal DC plug, which you plug in directly to the pack and charge it at once, which is a lot easier to use. The battery itself, or the battery pack, which is a custom made pack for this light you can see here, has a nominal, vo nominal voltage of 22.2 volts at 3500 milliamp hours of capacity. So they are already using the 3500 milliamp hours 18650, which are already a bit better ones we could say. Here, just for you to see, this is a, a normal, usual 18650 and here in here we have six of them and this, they will definitely fit inside. And the good thing is that you don't have to put them once and one, one by one into the charger every time you want to use them. So you just have a single pack, charge it at once, you use it at once and you always, always only have one as it, was, as it would be only one battery. So this is something I enjoy. To give you a comparison in between the size of a normal four pieces 18650 pack to this one, there you have the size. So it's actually quite a difference yeah, when it comes to the size. But as I said, or as you can imagine, we have a high output, so we need some power. A smaller pack wouldn't do this, and with around 50-55 minutes of runtime, this is perfect for one dive. If you say you need it for two, well, buy an extra battery pack, but for the size of the light, for the output, you can't do any better. Now let's take the battery and screw it back into the light. So here, make sure to find the beginning, yeah, it's very easy, but still, just be sure to find the beginning before letting it go. Screw it in all the way and this is more or less how it should be when it's closed. And now let's put it on and this is something I really like on this light. Keep the switch pressed for around 3 seconds and the light will gradually come on. And well, you might not see it on the camera because it looks the camera is adjusting but if I just put my hand in front Ooh, it's getting warm, so it's very, it's a very, just to show you the difference, yeah, it's a very strong light for the angle of light, you have a lot of light going there. Now guys, you have two modes on the light, you can now circle in between the two, high and low or high and mid, however you want to call it, and to switch the light back off you need to switch or press the switch for again two to three seconds and the light will turn off. Just from this what we were doing now, I can already feel the light is getting warm. So there is some power behind it, trust me. Good. In terms of um, what I would recommend you to use with the actual light, is definitely if you're using it on a tray, to use some floaters. Because this light underwater has around 300 and something, almost 400 grams of weight the way it is now. With battery, you still have almost 400 grams of negative buoyancy per light. So using something like this, these ones have around 300 grams of buoyancy, so these two together are slightly negative and this is perfect. I like a camera which is a bit negative, makes it easier to film but it shouldn't be too heavy. So this is why I definitely recommend you to use some of these, they are quite cheap to get. Many brands, many producers, many manufacturers are offering them 
with many finishes, many colors and I definitely recommend you to use something like this because the lights are starting to get heavier. The more power you have, the bigger the light, the more heavy it is. To give you a small comparison, just in between the actual WM66, which I am reviewing at the moment, and the WM26 II, which I'm going to be reviewing the next few days, to see a little bit of a comparison from Archon. This is the light which runs on four 18650s and offers around 6000 lumens. Now it's only half the brightness, but you have some more toys. If I'm buying this light, I'm looking for power. I'm looking for a lot of power, a lot of light underwater. And if I'm buying something like this, I'm usually buying it for the toys. And when I'm talking about toys, it's like a little bit of a spottier light for focusing, some red, some UV, and also this one offer, gives me the option to use a snoot for macro photography. The big one also doesn't offer it. So remember, the WM66, which we are reviewing right now, is made for the power, to have the light and not for the small play around. So this is a really good workhorse or workhorse if you want to do some videography or really to make a lot of movies and videos underwater. All right, guys, so I think we talked enough here over water now about the actual WM66. I would say let's take this wonderful Archon light underwater and let's just see how it operates and works in the actual diving environment where I think all of us are going to be using a diving light. So let's jump into the water. Alright guys, so I hope you could get a better idea on how the light performs underwater in the real diving environment. Now a quick pros and cons about the WM66 from Archon. A pro is definitely, and I think you saw this on the video, we have a nice small sized, and I'm talking um, relatively, yeah? of course it's a small sized light for the amount it offers. The amount of light, 12,000 lumens, let it only be 11,000. Yeah? For those who say oh, it's probably not 12, let it be 11,000. Yeah? Even though it's a very strong light comparing it, I had another light I was using around 9,500 lumens and this one is definitely brighter. So it has at least 10,500, 11,000 if not even a bit more so this is something I can tell you the light itself is very small and this is my main pro a lot of power in a very small and compact solution and one of the negative things is that I see but it's it's not really a negative thing it's a, it's actually a good thing it will have a longer lifetime on the LED but you could or they could offer a little bit of a turbo mode or something a little bit higher maybe going to the 14 15 thousand lumens because you could Although not have such a long runtime of 50-55 minutes, but you could have a little bit more power. And sometimes, or we divers, I think, at least those doing videography, you're not going to do an hour of filming. So maybe sometimes you would like to have a little bit more light. And as the LED is capable of, of doing 18,000 lumens, maybe we can see this in the future, Archon upgrading or doing another version of the light with maybe 15, 16, 17,000 lumens and only a runtime of 35 to 40 minutes. But it will still be good, still be usable, but you would, you would already have a lot or a good bit of more light. So, I can't really say a lot of more bad things or, re or not even good things. It's a great light, it works great, it has a lot of, uh, we could say, power, a lot of uh, light coming out. 
And what I want to tell you before we finish the video as usual, this is not a paid endorsement, this is not an advertising, and I haven't gotten anything for free from our fund, just to let you know. So that I'm not getting paid to make the product look good. I'm giving you my real and honest opinion about the WM66. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to don't miss out on the next videos. And I hope to see you next time. As usual, always a safe and good diving.